best friends and, and really we just put in so much work and, and put so much into that program and, and really we just put our all every single time we stepped into the building and any time we stepped on that practice field and that's really like I said it, it just paid off and it, it came to show on Saturdays when we went out there and we were able to win a long string of games and and even in the close games, you know, a lot a couple of years ago, teams wouldn't like. I mean, people wouldn't expect us to be in this, in those type of games, be in those tight situations that we were in. So, um, just really just being a part of that program and being able to turn it around, it really meant a lot. What What are your height and weight? Uh, six foot and weighed in here at two hundred three. Have you done the forty yet? No. Your uh, your parents are Marines, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, what was that like as a kid? I'm sure you probably moved around quite a bit. Yeah, I um, bounced around a little bit. Uh, strict parents didn't really get away with nothing. Um, taught me a whole lot of life lessons, obviously. Um, raised me as if I was in the military. So, um, but yeah, it was it was obviously a blessing to have both of my parents in the military and to have both of them together my whole life. And really just, like I said, been, been along the journey that, I, that I've been playing football and throughout my whole course of life would come with academics and or, uh, athletics. They were always by my side and always being my great support system. Where's the uh, coolest place you lived? Uh, from what I remember, I liked, I liked Hawaii a little bit. Um, but obviously, being in Virginia the longest, I'm biased there. How long were you in Japan? Uh, probably, I was born there and I was only there for probably about like two years. Nothing I remember. Um, really, it's just um, trying to just continue building my resume as I did from the East-West Shrine game and uh, from the Senior Bowl. Continue to have good showings, good outings, um, and, and here to compete against a lot of the guys that are in my group and a lot of the guys that are here as wide receivers. So this is top talent. Um, you really don't get invited to the combine for no reason. So all these guys are very really good players, and I just want to be able to compete with the best. Um, doing everything but the bench and the 40. This is probably 20 minutes with the questions here, but I'll ask it in one. What is, what is your brother mania? Uh, yeah, he means a lot. My brother is really my main reason why I do all the things that I do in my life. Um, he's basically been able to to be with me throughout my whole life. We're two years apart. We went to the same schools together for a lot of our childhood. Um, and like I said, like you probably heard the stories, uh, raised him along with my parents uh, when I was younger. And I kept that whole thing going all the way until I was I left for college. Um, but yeah, my brother, he means a lot to me. Uh, like I said, he, he's really the main reason why I'm doing a lot of things that I'm doing, why I continue to do what I do, and why I do it at a high level. Are you a perfectionist, Corey? Uh, I like to think so. Um, I really don't. I don't really like to, to leave any stone unturned. I, I make sure all my, my T's are crossed and my I's are dotted. Um, but yeah, I, I just want to make sure that you know, I'm detailed in my craft and, and I'm perfecting all the things that, that I feel like that I have as strengths and making my weaknesses and turning them into strengths as well. Has that helped your precise route running? Yeah, absolutely. Um, along with my wide receiver coach, Coach Gaddis, he's helped with me a lot in developing me as a football player overall, as a, as a wide receiver, as a route runner. Um, so he's really just from top to bottom done a great job developing me and and you know he's instilled that that I guess perfectionist and, and attention to detail mentality in me and I just took that and, and I ran with it and I made sure I'd never lose track of that and never lost sight of what really got me here and, and then that's really what paid off as well. Do you think that being a perfectionist attention to detail um, does it come from how you raised? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I didn't. Um, every morning I had to make my bed, um, brush my teeth the right way, to do the dishes the right way. And, and really, I, and then when I got home from school, I had to sit at the dinner table and I wasn't allowed to leave until I finished my homework and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, my, my mom, she was really the one that was the stickler on all of those things. And, and she made sure that I, I, everything I did was detailed and, and, you know, really just I didn't uh, she didn't let me get lazy or so to speak or anything like that. That. So, yeah, I'd say that come from my parents as well. Coach Franklin uh, told us on Tuesday that Parker was going to put up freakish numbers, Mike was going to put up freakish numbers. You were going to blow away the team with some precision in the interview. Do you feel like uh, you've done that? Yeah, I feel like the interviews have gone great. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed meeting with all the teams here. Um, but, yeah, you know, those guys like uh, Saquon and Mike, those, those guys are freaks. Not necessarily – I'm not necessarily as, as uh, gifted as them in the athletic department, but um, I'm pretty athletic myself. But, yeah, um, I just try and do good in the things that I know I'm going to do well at. And then, um, and yeah, so really the interviews – the interview process here has gone well, and, I, and I've enjoyed it so far. When you look at what uh, Trace has meant to the program now, is he kind of that next face? Uh, you, you had Chris Godwin, you had yourself, and – 
Iseki and, and Saquon is Trace the, now the face of Penn State? Well, yeah, Trace, I think Trace has been the, the face of Penn State for a while. Um, yeah, he's, he's more of a face of Penn State than I am. Um, and obviously he's the starting quarterback and he's been able to lead us to so many wins. So yeah, Trace, he's, he's a big crucial part to Penn State. He's been a big crucial part to Penn State's success as well over the past years. And he's been doing a great job and I, and I know he'll continue to keep that up as well. Uh, yes, I met with both. Formal or informal? Informal. I didn't have any formal meetings. Uh, I guess it's because I was at East West and Senior Bowl, so they've seen enough of me. But uh, yeah, I met with both of them informally. You have the most six yard run with the freshman. That kind of like his wow moment. Was there a wow moment for you with your old teammate? Uh, my wow moment, <laughs> it, it's been a lot. Uh, <laughs> and plus, my wow moment is continuing today. He's been all over my social media. I, I thought since I left college, I would stop seeing so much of him, but obviously that's not the case. Um, but yeah, I think my wow moment would obviously be his his first game where he's kind of got to start toting the rock a lot more was against Buffalo his freshman year. Obviously his first hurdle that I had seen. Um, and I didn't even get to see it. Everyone, I heard everyone else in the stands and then I watched the replay and I was like, okay, yeah, he's a real deal. But um, but then, yeah, then from that point on, he just carried that momentum and made a whole bunch of wild moments. Is there a cornerback or safety who's matched your precision on the field who might have confounded you a bit? Um, in college? Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> um, I don't know. This this past season, I, I wouldn't say there was anybody that, that was able to match up with me too well. Um, and then I just kept getting better through college. So I, I wouldn't say, I, I, obviously, in the one-on-one -on -one matchup, I would, I would pick, take myself. Um, so I, I think there was one in my career, uh, Trey Waynes. He did a great job when I went up against him my redshirt freshman year. He's probably the best overall corner that I played in my career. That's unfair. You were a freshman. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he had the age. He had the age on me, but he was still there, and, and yeah, he was in my hip pocket almost the entire game when we played. Him. In your mind, what do you need to work on the most to get 